Manatee County is considering charging to park at its public beaches, and a lot of its neighbors already do. Pinellas and Clearwater both charge. And so does the city of Sarasota, and now Sarasota County is also considering this for Siesta Key. As 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas reports, not everyone is on board with paying to park. Look at the bumper to bumper traffic heading onto Anna Maria Island over the causeway. It can take an hour to get to the beach from downtown Bradenton. Then good luck finding a parking spot. But would you be willing to pay to park for this? A white sandy beach and crystal clear water. For today, I, would have, I wouldn't have minded paying for parking because it was hard to find parking. Commissioner Stephen Johnson says the county should consider it to help pay for improvements like beach renourishment. He's proposing paid parking at the Manatee County Public Beach off State Road 64 and Golf Drive and at Coquina Beach on the south end. We should not have paid parking and I will continue to fight that we don't uh, charge our, our citizens or visitors. Commissioner Carol Whitmore has lived on Anna Maria Island for 50 years. She's also a former AMI mayor and says the revenue for paid parking isn't worth the expense and the revenue it's going to bring in is to me is not worth the expense of putting the meters out maintaining them and going through all the hassle of paid parking. New Yorker Molly Klima says she visits Anna Maria Island four times a year and agrees with Whitmore. I think that we shouldn't have to pay for parking at a public beach because I think it should be open and accessible to all people. While these Canadian visitors wouldn't mind paying, they say not everyone should. Well, I would pay for parking because I'm a, I'm a tourist and I expect to pay, but I don't think for just a public beach for the people that live in the area you should have to pay for parking. Commissioner Whitmore says the island uses trolleys, golf carts and bikes to lessen the number of cars on the road. Whitmore also says the county has considered adding a parking garage, but sites, but cities don't uh, want it and the county has not been able to find a location off the island to put one. Commissioner Johnson says the board will likely discuss the idea of paid parking again sometime this year. That would be the latest. A new parking garage opened on February 12th at St. Armand Circle in Sarasota. It added 400 new parking spaces. Once again, you do have to pay for those spaces. And about two weeks ago, Sarasota City Commissioner started discussing a proposal to charge for parking at Siesta Keys Beach. That discussion is ongoing.